Hi, in today's videos we are going to learn construction of triangle. SS criteria means side, side, side. Construct an isosceles triangle ABC in which BC 4 cm, AB 5 cm and AC 5 cm. So let first draw a rough diagram. So first of all draw the base BC 4 cm and then AB 5 cm, AC 5 cm where these two are the equal sides. So now let's draw a ray. Name one point as B. Then to get the C point, we need to take the measurement of a 4 cm with the help of the compass and the ruler. Put the nib of the compass at 4 and nib of the pencil at 0. Now take B as the center and draw an arc. Now name it as C and BC is equal to 4 cm. For AB and AC you know that the measurement is 5 cm. So let's take the measurement of 5 cm and then draw the arcs. From B and C as well as it is given AC is also 5 cm. You can take other measurement if it is required or it is given. Now join the points. The intersecting point with the point B and then this intersecting point with the point C. Here if AC is given as 6 cm or 4 cm accordingly take the measurement and draw. Now name it and here it is done. Next one is SAS criterion side angle side. Here PQ 5 cm, QR is 3 cm, measure angle P is equal to 60 degree. But I guess it will be wrong. Well, let's see what the right measurement should be there. I guess PR is equal to 3 cm. So let's take. Here also, first of all, draw the ray. Uh, one end point of the ray is P. Now to get PQ as 5 cm, take the measurement of 5 cm with the help of the compass. Then draw an arc. And here we got Q. Write Q and 5 cm. Now P in angle P is equal to 60 degree. So as you know that we have already learnt in the previous video how to draw different different angles. So first of all take P as a center and draw a semicircle and then from the intersecting point from the base if you will draw another arc it will give you the 60 degree. Now join these two points and extend it you will get 60 degree. Now QR it is weighing 3 cm but it will not give you the right measurement. Yes I am right. So let's take PR as 3 cm. Yes, here we go. So now name the intersecting point as R and join Q with R. And here the angle triangle is done. Next one is construct an isosceles triangle in which the length of each of its side is 5 cm and the angle between them is 105 degree. Means everything is unknown for us. So let's draw the rough diagram DE as 5 cm. From the angle D we will draw 105 degree and from D F is 5 cm because it is given it is an isosceles triangle. So here also after drawing the rough diagram we can get that what we need to draw at first and how will you draw this. So here also we have drawn at first the ray. Then from the point D, we will draw 5 cm of R so that we will get the point E. Now name them and write the value of the side. Then draw the arc from the first intersecting point. If you will draw an arc, it will be 60 degree. From 60 degree, it is 120 degree. Then draw the two arcs from 60 degree and 120 degree respectively so that we will get 90 degree. But here we don't need 90 degree. We need 105 degree. For that we need 
the bi angle bisector of 120 and 90 degree. Now draw the angle bisector of 120 degree and 90 degree. So draw the arcs from these two points respectively. So here the intersecting point that we got is 105 degree. So draw the angle by extending its rays. Now from D we need to draw the arc of 5 cm. Now after getting the point F join F and E. Now name them and write the given value. And here it is done. The next criterion is ASA, angle side angle. So here we will draw QR 5 cm, angle Q is 60 degree, angle R is 75 degree. So first of all we will draw QR as 5 cm and from angle Q 60 degree, angle R 75 degree where they will meet that point will be point P. So here also let's draw a ray. Name the point as Q and from the point Q draw 5 cm of arc to get the point R. Name them and write down the value of the side. Now from angle Q draw 60 degree. If you have if you don't know how to draw the different different angles, please go through the previous video. Here it is, the 60 degree. Now join these two points. Intersecting point with the vertex and extend the rays. Next, from angle R, draw 75 degree. For 75 degree, we need 60 degree and 90 degree. So to get the 90 degree, Draw the angle bisector of 60 degree and 120 degree and then after angle bisect of 90 degree and 60 degree. So here we got the 75 degree of angle. Now join these two points. Always sharpen the pencil and set the ruler at the right place. And here the intersecting point is P. It is done. The last one is RHS criterion right angle hypotenuse and side. So here we will draw a triangle PQR whose Q is 90 degree then PR is equal to 10 cm which is the hypotenuse and QP is 8 cm. So draw a rough diagram. For this draw a ray. Name one point as Q to get the point R. Take the measurement of 8 cm and draw 8 cm of arc where it will intersect with the ray that point will be R. So this is Q R 8 cm. Now we need to draw the angle Q as 90 degree. Here we will create the intersecting point. Now join the intersecting point with the vertex and 
For PR which is hypotenuse is 10 cm. Take the measurement of 10 cm with the help of the compass and the ruler. From the point R, draw an arc to the 90 degree. Here we go. We got P as a point. Now you can see it is absolutely 10 cm. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Hope this one will help you for your exam. If you like this video then don't forget to turn white thumb blue and please do share with your nearer and dearer. Stay blessed. Bye bye.